Well, I just I just decommissioned the saw. You know, after watching that video and seeing the comments, you guys are right. I don't know if I should have a saw in my hand. I was using that thing like it was a sawzall. And uh, they're very unforgiving. So, blade and chains off, we're back down to this. So, I want to pop this tank off, take a peek, a peek at this tank. Uh, since I've seen this thing, since I bought these, or saw the ads, I was interested in this tank up on here. I just wasn't sure if it's going to be big enough, and I'm still thinking not, but I want to take it off and take a peek. Uh, I know the saw is good, obviously we know that, so I'm going to take it off this saw. Uh, the other one I'm going to wind up doing a set of points on, getting it running and then putting it to the side just like this one. So, uh, what was I going to say? Hope everybody's having... Uh, Happy New Year's Eve, and hopefully uh, if you're going to drink, stay in your house. No need to be on the road. Don't want to see you kill anybody or get killed yourself, because it does happen, trust me. Uh, you want to drink and be stupid, just do it in your house. We'll have somebody drive you home. Okay, I'm going to pop the tank off. Done talking about the gloomy shit. Okay, this is a real rough mock-up. But by doing stuff like this, it allows you to say, Nah, I don't like it. Oh yeah, I do like it. So, I see things I like and see things I don't like. And the sissy bar is going to be thicker than this. So, it's just what I have. Whoops. Yeah, I went to blow-ups again. Sorry guys, last day with the blow-ups. something like that so far now right off the bat I can tell you the handlebars are too short how too short not sure I'll know that after but I'm assuming if they're here I'm assuming they have to be probably four inches longer give or take they definitely have to be higher than that um, I can run the seat lower than that, without a doubt. I can keep the seat uh, tight to the thing. I don't think I'm going to know. Uh, that's an inch and a half. And uh, maybe an inch off it'll be in the front. And then we'll determine the back height. That's aluminum fuel line I'm using, so I just bent it up really quick and it's just like resting there. So I don't want to waste the fuel line. And I actually don't like the width of the sissy bar either. I just don't want to ruin this. Uh, fuel line. I, I was going to like it a little tighter and a little more conforming down to the seat and then tapering out to meet the frame rails because I laid it right there. See it's sitting up top. So that's the three foot mark right there so this would be a three foot sissy bar in my eyes. So as you can see the tank up there. I'm actually liking the tank. Uh, but the tank requires other things to take away from it. And the first thing it needs is a sissy bar. And the second thing it needs is the handlebars lengthened. Okay, and it's really hard to determine anything with the seat with it looking like that. So. But, uh. That's the way I like the way the tank lays out. Because when you put it on there, I got plenty of room on each side. I got a good quarter of an inch. And, uh. And the bus turn fully without hitting it. Get, I got it right to it. So I actually like the way that looks up there. I think it looks better from this view. But um, the seat's crooked. But um, handlebars are definitely too short. Handlebars are definitely too short. So we'll be lengthening those. That's not a big deal. I figured they would be. But uh, you got to do stuff like this figure out what you need. If I run the tank like that, I don't need a fuel pump. And that's one of the reasons I just moved it from the bottom to the top. Is uh, running a pair of fuel pumps. Because a pair of fuel pumps means I gotta tap into those manifolds and I gotta weld bungs on them and I just don't know if I really want to do it. 
if I hated the tank up top, I would do it. But I don't hate the tank up top. I actually think it's pretty cool. So, uh, but like I said, the, the tank is out of proportion with the handlebars down that low, and I think that's a major problem. And it's very hard to visualize the handlebars higher, but you have to. So, we're definitely moving forward here. Uh, plus, you're looking at it level. It doesn't sit on the ground level. It sits on the ground, obviously, with the, you can tell by the wheel difference with the, with the back down. So, definitely, uh, definitely going to be moving forward here. I think one of the things I'm going to do next is I think I'm actually going to make up a sissy bar and decide what I'm going to do with the seat. Because I'll be truthful with you, no matter what I do with the seat, that's probably going to be the seat pan. And, uh, I'm thinking of sticking it out the back a little further than that. Uh, making it, eh, I guess it's about close, but making it even with the back tire. I think that's a good, uh, stopping point. And, uh, I think should, they should definitely intersect like they do. And, uh... I'm going to try and mount them in the original skateboard holes. I figured just a nice trim plate on the bottom with a piece of square tube. And then uh, a bolt through with two cap nuts. I figured that would be really nice. I could take the seat on and off. Same with the front. Same setup in the front but with tabs coming off the frame rail. Or probably, probably a long U like that hooked to the frame rail so it ties the two rails together too. I want to tie the frame together in a couple more spots. So, uh, I think that's about it. I thought about the uh, gas tank in the back, like behind the seat. I've seen people do that, and I think just think it's a very bad idea, especially the tailpipes are going to come out. At least this one, this engine should come out to like here. The other one's going to be staggered a little short. I'm going to try and equalize them. But if I get any kind of fuel leak and a backfire, I'll be burning long before I know I'm burning. And uh, we've already had one mini bike light up. <laughs> and, and that was under me. I, I don't, yeah, at least we knew it. <laughs> so. But, uh, yeah, that's a good, good start. Good start. I think the angle of the sissy bar is about right. Give or take. You know, it was just a quick bend, real quick. The tube isn't exactly straight anywhere. But, uh... Yeah, I think it's going to be okay. Looks like I should have a speedometer on that thing or, or something. Feels like something should be on there. Like I, said, I love the shape of that tank. It's almost teardrop, even though it's not. It's more like the other tank turned on its angle. I mean, this tank will definitely hold enough fuel. This one here, that can go anywhere, any you know, any distance. This one obviously is small. You know what I mean? I do lose not a quarter of it, less than a quarter. But uh, I guess we're just gonna have to see how far we can go. We might have to carry some auxiliary fuel like we used to with the with the methanol and the other thing. So, but with this, if I did it like this, obviously the tank's hiding in the carbs. I could put a pair of shutoff valves in, like the side has a shutoff valve. Put a pair of shutoff valves in there, a filter, and run them right to the carburetors. Independent. And they're not relying on the same fuel line and all the problems we had before when we tried the Harbor Freight tank. And uh, I could see how it works out. I was actually thinking about this thing today, mounting it slightly high on like a pedestal with a band clamp around it, you know, so there's an air gap under it, but I don't think so. I think I will mount it with another band clamp to where they had it, but I think it's going to be flat to the frame. So, well, that's it for tonight, guys. I'm going in. It's, uh, I don't even know what the hell time it is. So, go in the house watch my balls drop.